this morning for being with us. Hope and pray that he will be a grand one with us this morning. Oh, brother and sister, Lord, I pray good morning to you all. We're here one more time. We are blessed, sorry, to be here one more time. And the word of God says, I will die out. Probably the end of them. Not the good what you have done. No, I'll try to walk in what you're doing, most of God. The Bible says that it's not the good that you have done. No, I'll try to walk in what you're doing, and that's a fact. But in the, 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 the I'll try to walk in, I want to be for those who want to do that. You know, because we know we try our best to make it or to be perfect in the sight of God. And as to our best of our ability, what we do for God, we will be paid how we, how we, how we measure, how we serve Him, and that's how we will be paid. We thank God this morning about the seven days of wonder and um, six communion service of the year. Yes, the other one is January, now it's, it's, it's June, six months already taken off. And that is saying something to us. That days and moments are swiftly flying. Blending the living with the dead. But I just ask you, just look over the door. That door, that door, just close the door. Close the door, please. The connection on the door. You will start our event service morning by singing number twenty. Number twenty. 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 This is the day of light. <laughs> we want to darkness, we don't want darkness. We say this is the day of light. He calls the all his own. Let heaven rejoice, let earth be glad, and praise the Lord. Today he rose and left the dead, and Satan's empire fell. Today the saints in triumph spread, and all his wonders spread. He ran out to the anointed king, and David's only son. Help of the Lord, send and bring salvation to thy throne. Bless the Lord who comes to men with messages of grace. Who comes in God to start a dream to save our sinful race? Who banner in the highest train, the church of God, on the church of God's channel, I see the highest heaven to be steering. That we will know the same place of the rise and see all the wrong of the world in the church, right? Sorry, 21. 20. 21, sorry. This is not anymore. 21. This is the day the Lord made. This is the day the Lord made. Hallelujah.
Lord, look upon this sick and the afflicted one in this Jews. Lord, oh heavenly Father, I ask you to detach your angels from heaven. Oh, give them strict orders to touch them from the crown of the head to the sole of the feet, dear Lord. And anything you see not worthy for being eaten, I ask you to be the empty part. Have mercy on this church this morning, dear Lord, Father. Lord, 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 those who are on the way, I pray that you hasten their footsteps. Bring them, dear Lord, Father. Guide them safely, dear the Lord, Father. In Lord, and name but in Jesus' name. Lord, bless each and every one. Amen. Lord, my cousin, come out this morning to save and to pray with me this morning. I ask you to look upon him and his children and rest over the night with his home. Have mercy on them, dear Lord, Father. Lord, Lord, we cannot make it this morning. Watch them, dear Lord, Father. Still send your blessings for them, dear Lord, Father. Lord, Lord. I know the reason they are not here. Lord, 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 Father, when everything is said and done, I pray that you take us to our seven rooms safe in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Let's be to you. Father, Oh, uh-huh. 
So the Spirit of the Lord lifted me up and took me away, and I went in bitterness in the heat of my spirit. For the hand of the Lord was upon strong upon me. And I came to them of the captivity at Selly Bin and dwelt by the river of Siba, and I sat near this back and remained and remained there at Sully among them seven years. And it came to pass at the end of seven days that the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, I have made a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear me, hear the words of my mouth, and give them warning from me. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou give him not warning, nor speakest to, to warn the wicked from to his wicked ways, to save his life, to save wicked man that that in his iniquity, what his blood will I will require at thy hand. Yet, we shall warn the wicked, and so not from his wicked ways, nor from his wicked ways, he shall die in his iniquity, for thou hast delivered thy soul. Again, when a righteous man has sold from his righteousness and from his iniquity, and I lay a stumble block before him, he shall die, for thou hast not given him one. He shall die in his sin, and his righteousness, which he has done, shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, he shall warn the righteous man, and the righteous sin not, and he shall not sin, he shall surely live, because he is one also thou hast delivered. So, and the hand of the Lord was there upon me, and he said unto me, Arise, go into the street, and, and I will stop with thee. And I rose and went forth into the street, and behold, the glory of the Lord stood there, as the glory which I saw by the river of Siba, and I fell on my feet. Then the Spirit entered into me, and set me upon my feet, and spake to me, and said unto me, Go. What shall we what shall we what shall we then say to these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? He that said not his own son but delivered up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us things? Who shall lay any thing to thy child, to the child of God left? It is God that shall die. Who is he that condemneth? Next, condemneth. It is Christ that died. Yea, rather, that is will for him. Who is him at the right hand of God? Who also live in the presence of? Who shall separate from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or perils, or poverty? As it is written, for thy sake, we are here all the day long. We are counted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, in all these things, we are more than conquerors to him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor other, any other creature shall be able to separate it. To separate it separate us from the blood of God, which is in Christ Jesus. O Lord, we were taken to the two scriptures and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and who are the living and one of the earth, and who are the of the earth. Amen. At this point in time, we have to split prayer. We will go and we will go and we will go and we will go and
Thanks to all who called me. I'm wondering um, whether black man, whether people have something wrong. And by the grace of God, nothing was wrong that serious. I had some little issue and I, uh, I cleared it up. But I want to give God all the honor, all the glory this morning, because we should do unto Him. Um, for those of all who don't know, I turned 72 last week Sunday. What does me to this hour? No major sickness, nothing. But um, I would like today after service that you all um, give me a little 10 minutes and um, let me celebrate my beauty. God is good, God is merciful, God is kind, God has protected me from 72 years. I told you once I was electrocuted and I can tell you what it is on the other side. I have a view on the other side that some of you don't want to come back. <laughs> Right? But I am still here. I was stuck up with a gun in my face. God had made it that I go through that. And yet still, I am here at the end of the day. So all praise, all honor, and all glory is going to I was shocked this morning when um, Deacon Walcott asked me to bring up this You know, remember this one thing or not? I am always prepared. Thank you. And thank God this morning, Brother Walker. Thank you this morning. I don't think anyone knows this, day, but um, thank you this morning. Everybody, thanks, thanks, and keep praying for me and know it. God bless you for every one of us. Bless the Lord. And thank God. I thought it was something like that, some good thing, something from the time we were spoken before. And um, who to say better than the by itself. This morning I still just want to read before we go into our communion service and just a few salient points with respect to this message taken from 2 Kings, 2nd chapter. 2 Kings, 2nd chapter, and we read. And it came to pass when the Lord would take up Elijah into heaven by a whirlwind that Elijah went with Elisha from Gilgal. And Elijah said unto Elisha, Tarry here, I pray thee, for the Lord hath sent me to Bethel. And Elisha said unto him, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. Nor will. So they went down to Bethel. And the sons of the prophets that were in Beth at Bethel came forth to Elisha and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Lord will be taken away by thy master from thy head today? And he said, Yea, I know it. Hold your peace. And Elijah said unto him, Elisha, tarry here, I pray. For the Lord hath sent me to Jericho. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. So they came to Jericho. And the sons of the prophets that were at Jericho came to Elijah and said unto him, Knowest that thou that the Lord will take away thy master from thee today? And he answered, Yea, I know it. 
hold your peace. As I just said unto him, Tarry, I pray thee here. For the Lord hath sent me to Jordan. And he said, As the Lord liveth, and as thy soul liveth, I will not leave thee. And they too went on. And fifty men of the sons of the prophets went and stood to view afar off. And they too stood by Jordan. And Elijah took his mantle and wrapped it together and smote the waters. And they were divided hither and thither, so that they too went over on dry ground. And it came to pass, when they were gone over, that Elijah said unto Elijah, Ask what I shall do for thee, before I be taken away from thee. And Elijah said, I pray thee, let a double portion of thy spirit be upon me. And he said, Thou hast asked a hard thing. Nevertheless, if thou see me when I am taken from thee, it shall be so unto thee. But if not, it shall not be so. And it came to pass, as they went forth and talked, that behold, there appeared a chariot of fire, and horses of fire, and parted them both asunder. And Elijah went up by a wound in the heaven. And Elijah saw it, and he cried, My father, my father, the chariot of Israel, and the horses there. And he saw him no more, and he took hold of his own clothes, and ran them into pieces. He took upon also the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and went back, and stood by the bank of Jordan. And he took the mantle of Elijah that fell from him, and smote the waters, and said, Where is the Lord God of Elijah? And when he also had smitten the waters, they parted hither, hither and thither, as Elijah went in. And when the sons of the prophet, which were to view at Jericho, saw him, they said, The spirit of Elijah doth rest on Elijah. And they came to meet him, and bowed themselves to the Lord before him. Yes, that's the fifteen verse. I did all that reading. In that I may not do much preaching because everything is explained itself this morning. That we stay close to God. We are a look at a number of topics, you know. In coming together, we need to travel the distance. And we see in this story that there was a journey that had to be completed. We came into that understanding that Elisha knew of Elijah being taken up by the whirlwind. He knew that he was going to see him no more, but he wanted to have fellowship. And that's the church today that we need to understand that the church have that direct linkage with God. Just recently, some time ago, we discussed it in church, and we, we, we said that the spirit don't die, it has been transferred. You know, and we look at this exercise this morning as God showing us that we need to stay close to him. Now, the journey from Gilgal to Bethel, from Bethel to Jericho, um, Jericho to Jordan, it seems to be a very hard and long journey, but the point that we must look at is that we need to persevere unto the end. We need, if we are to achieve, we have to put the necessary workforce in place so that God will bless us at the end. Because here it is that Elijah is asking Elijah that he wants that possession. He won that double portion. And by the way, we look at the, 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 the comparison with Elijah and Elijah. We see that Elijah, he did most of his uh, prophecies with the, the government and the, 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 the prophecy at that time. And he deal with kingdoms and uh, different political issues and uh, things like that. He did his miracle in that way. And then we see that Elisha, he did dealt with the common man. He dealt with the, the, 
the leper and the sodomite woman and uh, uh, these are the other social activities. But so, the coming together, we needed to put the boat together so that Elisha was telling Elijah he wants a double portion of that divine spirit. And it could only come through God because God would have set us and make us that person that he will have us to be. In other words, he loved us. Uh, some time ago we talked about we were in the mind of God. And then we talk about that we need to put on the mind of God to keep that fellowship in a, a, a consistent uh, control so that God will have total control of our being. This, the reason why is because we are not of our own. God cares about us. He, he, he made us special so that he could have his being in us. And Elijah recognizes these virtues and seeing in no other than the, the way that Elijah would have operated, the way God would have effected his troops and his power and his anointing and his prophecy through him, he couldn't ask for nothing better than a double portion. And so it's the church today that as we continue to wait, as uh, uh, most times I minister, I talk about exciting times ahead. I talk about uh, uh, the, the, the area that uh, 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 that Revelation talks about, 6 and 7 chapter, it talks about the, 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 the different the seal that uh, are pervading it. It refers us back to that Daniel issue. It refers us back to, as uh, it was written, way down in, in Mark Gospel, around the 15th chapter, we talk about as it was, as how the desolation and the uh, 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 of and what would have happened in Daniel time from the turn of the kingdom coming straight through. So this is the reason why we could say that Elijah was a prophet into that Babylonian system and into that kingdom as a, be a prophet at that time to show us what is happening whilst Elijah was able to deal with the social issue. So we put it together that God was solely in charge and care about each and every one of us. And so we have to understand the journey. And someone was, uh, one philosopher once said that the journey was long. He said the journey was over 50 something miles. And then one author said, no, it was just about eight miles. Then one author said, it was about 16 miles. And so we, we are not just concerned about the different miles. All we could conjecture, come to that understanding that the road was long. The route was long, but Elijah insisted that he stay with Elijah because he knew that he was going to be taken up. And that's why I make the reference that we as Christians today, knowing sometime soon, as I always said, that since in my grandmother days, she said, son, Jesus is coming just now. And she would have died and gone long time, and we are still saying that Jesus is coming. So what we are to do, whether we think it's long or short, or we think that it is extra long, we have to be always in that atmosphere that Jesus is coming, and we have to be looking forward for what is going to happen, the excited times ahead, when he shall call us all into one fellowship, and there's going to be a judgment. The church, what is happening today, there must be a judgment after all these things have been happening. And so we see that Elijah was able to hold on to the end. He was able, even himself, he was discouraged by the other folks around telling him, well, don't you know that the Lord will be taken up today? He said, yes, I know. And that's the confidence of a Christian to know who you are, to know what are you or who are you serving and to where you are going and that's the importance that he knew that Elijah had that authority and that anointing that God himself he was in fellowship one with another and that's the church today that we need to have that understanding and have that fellowship amongst all sorts of countries and so as the walk it's a walk by faith. And so the church is called to demonstrate 
have faith in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Because we are of the a saying that wherever he went, I think we say that he was doing good. He was that mighty healer. He cleansed the leper. And we, we went on further to say that his power is nonetheless. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. And so if we are into those truths, or we if we are into that fellowship, if we are into that anointing, all will be well. But here it is that we have the opposing factor and of, of so many different uh, conditions that we have faced, so many conditions that we are obstructed, so many conditions that uh, uh, forms a negative uh, alignment with our Lord and in, in our walk and in our trust to be with the Lord. And so it is we have to be rooted and grounded and have that fellowship in none other than in Jesus Christ. And that's the work of the Holy Spirit when he comes with us, he will lead us and teach us in all truths. And that is exactly in a, a, a modern styling that Elijah was looking at. He knew that his trust and his confidence was in God. And he knew that this is a direct man of God because of the miracle and the prophecies which God would have enabled him to do in no other name but Almighty God's name. And so he kept focus. And so the word to us today is for the church to be focused uh, on Jesus uh, and his righteousness. Yeah. And if we keep focus, we can say eternal might be sure. But we are not too sure of that unless we are rooted and grounded. Unless God would have taken over that inward path. Way down in Jeremiah 31, 31 to 35, he talks about removing that stony heart and placing himself within our heart. And from then to now, from all the prophets coming right down to Jesus Christ, we are saying that Jesus was able to say that he and the Father is one. If you see the Father, you have seen him. So the, 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 the word today is that we stay focused. We, we stay committed in spite of what other objective or whatever opposition comes in our way and tells us different, we are. Because when he had those three different points, as I said, the journey was long. And to every time he was discouraged and he was said, don't you know what is going to happen? He said, yes, I know what will happen. Keep your peace, keep your peace. And let God go. And that's how the church ought to operate. When we are enthroned by problems or situations of all kinds, we need to keep the peace and trust the Lord with all our heart. And uh, uh, that is the unique way of God moving with us. He is that, that as we often say, that silent listener to every conversation, that unseen guest at every meal. We need to know and to understand his purpose for us. And his purpose is that we will have life and have it more abundantly. I pray God this morning that he's going to bring us as this example about following Jesus. As Elijah, Elijah would have followed Elijah. And beyond the shadow of a doubt, he was fully persuaded that God is in the business. And so the church has to come to that point that they know in spite of what happens, God stands for you. He will stand for you in every area, in every storm of life, every condition. He is there waiting and looking because he have a special, he made us special to worship him, to glorify him. And that's why we need to worship him at all times. I also, that, that Psalm 34, I will bless the Lord. At all times, his praise shall continually be my Lord. So when there seem to be bad times, bless the Lord. When there seem to be good times, bless the Lord. When there seem uh, unsteady moments and things that you are not sure, if you, you are not certain, bless the Lord. At all times, so that he will bring it about. He will not leave you, he will not forsake you, but he will build you unto the end of the world. Not only that, you bless the Lord. To, to bless that when, when the Lord blesses you, you bless someone else. And that is the understanding that God wants us to operate. A church that 
moves and lives and understands its purpose. As someone would like to say, purpose is arriving fast and falling everywhere. This is what may have a bitter taste, but sweet will be the power. So God is concerned about you. And this exercise that's taken from things we want to understand. Elisha taking on the mantle. And so you and I are called in some way or the other to take on this mantle. And to take on the mantle, we need to be focused. In all thy ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. And, and, and that's exciting, that's comforting to understand we live in this world of sorrow. And it started way, way back, way back when, when Satan distorted the truth and deceived our poor parents. And from that time to now, it's still going on. And that's why we talk about the, the heel being bruised. And, and, and this is what is happening even today in this day and age. But we need to forget the steps, as one writer said to him. Forget the step already trapped and onward. Urge thy way. And so it was an urge when uh, my friend Elijah was told of, of those discouraging words. Don't you know? Don't you know? Why? He said, Keep your peace. And so it is saying to us, in spite of what we may hear, whether negative or positive, we need to focus on God. Keep the peace and give Him the glory. We praise God today for His word. We praise God for. Uh, having an example that we can refer to as Elijah following Elijah. In other words, taking up the mantle. And we saw the results because there are going to be positive results. And we look at the positive, not at the negative. And the positive results is in this that Elijah demonstrated before they crossed the Jordan. And the Jordan was parted, and the world said that they went across on dry land. Somebody be praise God this morning. God is good and his mercy is in prayer forever. So to understand the double a portion of his divine spirit, he had to repeat the same thing and call on the name of Elijah God. And so the water parted. And then he knew that God was in the business. Yeah. This is no mama guy, you know, this one telling me I can't work, what don't you know what? Or all kind of confusion. Forget about the confusion. Uh, forget about uh, who said this or who that or what that, but trust in the Lord with all your heart. And as the Bible said, you shall never die. We shall be transformed. We shall be like him. We shall be able to overcome. And so Revelation tells us about being an overcomer. And we have it in Revelation chapter 2 and part of chapter 3 talks about uh, talking to the seven churches and telling them of the, the Everybody, for all the churches, they, they will not have perfect, but they strive to perfection. Somebody here in this morning, they strive for perfection. And that's the same Daniel story coming straight down to the revelation that we are into now, understanding that unless these times don't come, the Son of God would not come. And so many times I refer to the fifth seal. And so it is said so that when that fifth seal was opened, Revelation chapter 6, verse 9, coming down there. They said that they, they were seeing that they, the saints were dressed in white and they were asking, How long, Lord? How long? And the word was said, Until we who are alive become like that, have a testimony, die for Jesus' sake, then the end would not come. So, probably, if you look at all the murders, we don't want to have a bad name, but these things that has been prophesied will happen. What is, is must is, yeah. so that we could understand. But I don't know if it says that these were the same people or the same saints dressed in white. And the question was, like, who are these? Hallelujah. We give God praise this morning. He said, these are those who have come from the land of great trial, who have washed their robes in the blood of the Lamb. And now they are going for sure reward. That's the condition. That's the, 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 the little nexus that we put in Elijah and Elijah. That you know, you know, you know, you know, you know that God is able to bring you through out of any situation. Hallelujah. Not only that, they were waving palm branches in their hand. 
and sing hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't you give a hallelujah this morning to know that Jesus still hearing and answering prayer. He came down for you and I. And sometimes I, I make the reference where he was going to, to the cross. And when he recognized the work of your sin and my sin, he wanted to renege a little bit. You see, when he was going down, he stepped aside a little bit and he knelt and he was praying and uh, uh, like it was perspiration of blood coming down and he, he said, Father, suffer this cup to pass for me. Oh Lord, he said, but not as my will, but let your will be done. Many times when we get in a little distress and trouble, we need to back up our and say, not my will, Lord, hallelujah, but let your will be done in me, the hope of glory. Church, we are in a good place to exercise that love and that honor and that glory that God would have bestowed on us. So we have to rebuke that demon, that falsehood, that element, that, uh, that negative element that comes to us and tells us other things. Look in here, look in there. The world talks about that. In the end, such time will come when we hear all, all kind of rumors that this and that was this. Uh, and you know it well, I don't need to reiterate for you what Jesus said. Hey, behold, hallelujah, I stand the door and knock. And if you would hear my voice, I will come in and have fellowship one with another. And that's what you want this fellowship. So that Elisha will get that double portion. So that he smote the water, recognizing the God of Elijah is here, ever present. He is from the very beginning, from morning to evening, from day to day. Every morning we have new mercies, we are encountered that God is still looking and watching over us and whatever problem, as it is said, that earth have no sorrow that heaven cannot cure. And so as we go into the communion service this morning, it's a way of revitalizing or recognizing that Peter, I often talk about that, did not understand the washing of the feet of the love and the glory that the Lord was sharing because he would, as I said before, he would in the mind of God even before, he would think it would be born. So we are called for all the tempest and we need to put on that same mind so that we'll be in fellowship one with another. We need to bear one another burden as we go through life dangerous road, as we go through uh, all kinds of problems and situations that we seem not to be able to understand at time, so that that Holy Spirit will come with us and give us that wisdom and knowledge and understanding so that we can perceive and that we can not only perceive but we can receive the gift of God which is eternal life. Pray God this morning that he will bless us richly as I say as we go into that fellowship. Peter didn't understand what the washing of his feet meant. He was saying, and some writers say that Peter knew that they had to wear supper at the place of Ashi, desert ground, and it was the custom of washing feet. But this day in particular, the communion of the Jesus particularly got a basin, filled it with water, got a towel, oh hallelujah, and began to wash his disciples' feet. And so Peter said, Lord, I'll have none of it. But when he recognized, oh, I pray that the church will understand our purpose and our function, that God is sending his son Jesus sometime soon. He's there, seated now at the right hand of his father, interceding for you and I. And we still have that privilege to reach out to him. Peter said, don't only wash my feet alone, but my hand, my head, my heart. In other words, wash me thoroughly in your precious blood and take my sins away. So I am going to be part of you and you part of me so that we're going to make the whole thing work. In the name of Jesus, we will have the victory. So the lesson tells us that not only that they were still unbelievers, because after that wonderful miracle, you know, they, 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 they gathered in groups to peep and to look to say, well, let's see if a lion would have eaten Elijah, or let's see that something, something gross. The mind always thinking something negative. But the positive mind is that Elijah was able to see the chariot of fire. 
coming on, uh, uh, with the chariot of fire and horses that Elijah was caught up with. I pray God if we fall faithful, eternal life will be sure. You hear me, church? If we continue, and that's what the determination of Elijah, he determined when he was told that he went from Gilgal to Bethel, from Bethel to Jericho, from Jericho to Jordan. And somebody said, Gilgal means separation. So in other words, he was saying that it's a rollover and it's a physical thing. But here it is, it's a spiritual connotation that it refers to. That God in his wisdom knew what he will do and how he will do it and when he will do it. So the church ought to stay perfect. The church ought to stay sweet because that's the reason why he's coming for a church that is that is washed and, and, and is cleansed and ready to have fellowship. And we keep saying, uh, what a great day it will be when we shall all see Jesus. We shall sing and show eternally. Hallelujah. And to be there, we have to be persistent. To be there, we have to follow. I, I mean, we have that song that says, follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Everywhere he leads me, I will follow. And so now when the time comes, we tell him, now we think we're doing that. We're doing our own thing. Uh, God says he's given to us to the mysteries of the kingdom of God. When God speaks to us, we need to understand, we need to follow. And so, Bethel was that place, you know, the, the, the desire of God being effective. And we see it showing up in Jacob when he was going to his uncle Laban. The first night of his journey, after he will conspire his mother and them to deceive and uh, ease off his blessing, we see where God was still with him and God promised because of the blessing, he was going to be fruitful, he was going to be great. And so we know the story well. As he took a stone and he lied on the stone, he began to see angels ascending, descending, and ascending. Oh yes, and when he would have awoken, he said, surely God is in this place. Not only that, he went on for to be persistent and said, God, if you will carry me safe, somebody preach with me today. To my uncle Laban, give me sustenance. Do what is necessary. Make it positive. Then I will build a church for you. We call that place better. The church of God. Hallelujah. We give God praise. We give God praise this morning to know that we are in the business church. God is not dead. He's still alive. Right. In spite of what situation we were. Say, God, God is hanging me or, or, or he's taking too long. It's his time. The earth is the Lord and the fullness thereof. Psalm 90 tells us about generation to generation. Yeah, a thousand years is like an evening gone. So we can't question God about that. When he says he's going to do what he's going to do, he's going to do what he has to do in his own timing. What we have to do is to be persistent. Trust him in every way. Give him all of your heart. Yeah, because he resides. He's the real heart on the search of man. And he needs a clean heart and a pure mind to exercise, to, to be exercised so we can get into this fellowship that we are talking about. So many times, as it is said, that the mind, some trillions and millions of thoughts just pass through our minds and uh, we get tied up. And sometimes we, we, we need to put on the mind of God so that God will guide us through. And every day it's a recurring discipline that happens and we have to be brave, we have to be honest, we have to, as the Spirit of 4 8 talks about that, finding the time, hurting what they say, things are true, whatsoever things are. I've got you in it. We need to think about these things. Yeah. So we talk about the man. Hallelujah. We're going to wear your patience this morning, but God is so good that He loves His church and the church must love Him. And so we must have that fellowship one with another as we depicted in this special scripture that Elijah was able to go on to do what he has to do. That anointing came upon him so that he could do the will of God. 
I pray that the church will understand our purpose as we ask for a double anointing, a double portion, so that when it comes out of it, it would be exercised. So it was said that Elijah did something like eight miracles, and Elijah probably by 16. However, that's somewhat of a probably could have been more or less. We don't know, but we do know that God did what he had to do. And what he said that he's going to do, he's going to do it. He's going to stand by you. Sometimes a little while, and sometimes somebody says, I feel like to smoke too much with me. I think I don't tell it to the children. I don't want to be I My life is a open book. And I said, you want to tell me something? He said, expect to receive. Right? Put it into the W's, what, when, why, who. He said, expect to receive in abundance. And I still continue. Why, when, who, what? And he said, expect to receive in abundance all things. Hallelujah. We give God praise this morning. Yeah. God is going to see us through in any situation, whatever it's social, it's political, whatever kind it is, God is going to bring you through. We pray, God, that what we have to do is to trust Him with all, all our heart. Give Him everything. Because Elijah keeps saying, yes, I know. I know. You don't tell me anything. You don't get the news. You just keep the peace and just leave me alone. Somebody you have to tell that demon, leave me alone. Let God interfere with me. Let him do what he has to do. Whether you are body, you know, whatever in your side. But God is doing a work in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So God needs to do work in our lives. And I pray God that, hallelujah. If it's his will that he used me all to the honor and glory that his name will be justified. So that when you reach it, it'll be a record. It'll be a witness to you that you did hear. That's why the word has to be preached throughout the world. So that none, oh yeah. But all should have been given a life. That's the most focus. That's why I said from the beginning, he loved us without end. That's what he sent his son to be a propitiation as we're going into the last day. Till the light, you'll hear it again. So we pray, God, that God is going to bless you. Yes, and you can let me take a few offering and we sing a, a, a tune that came in my mind since morning. Yeah, trust in the Lord, trust that of you. So this time, I uh, could uh, take up the offering and we ask God that when we are taking up his bread, and God will give us more blessing again. When we walk with the Lord in the light of his
Sweet and awful is the place with Christ within the doors. Where everlasting love displays the choices of his stores. While every heart and every tongue join to admire the peace, we each exclaim with thankful song, Lord, why was I a guest? Why was I made to hear thy voice? And enter while there is room. When thousand make a wretched and rather starved. Yeah, the last will see the city nations go over, constrain them to the cup, send a victorious world abroad and bring the change of good. Oh, sweet and oh, oh yes, that is
pushing this step forward and finish it off for you. Fight a good fight of faith. Keep hold on each other's life. Where on the dollar has called and has professed a good profession for many witnesses. Let your man of life be as if he promised the gospel of Christ. He will not redeem with corruptible things and silver and gold, but with the precious blood of Christ. As of a lamb without blemish and without spot, we be many are one body in Christ, and every one members one of another. Jesus said, If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. This is the commandment that we love one another, as I have loved you. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that we love, that he loved us, and sent his Son to be a propitiation for our sins. When we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. This may speak for a righteous man who will wonder. Yet for a venture for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commended his love towards us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sorrow? Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which in Christ Jesus our Lord. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth in me shall never thirst. He that cometh unto me, I will know why he's cast out. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man hear my voice and open the door, I will come in to him and will sup with him and be with him. I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take it, this is my body which is broken for you. This will remember of me. After the same man also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. This do we, as often as we drink it in remembrance as often as we eat this bread and drink this cup, we will show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unwillingly shall be guilty of the body of the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Then on the night when the shall was made this bread, he thanks the cup and he blessed. Father God, we give you praise, we give you honor and glory at this time that we can come together again. Another first Sunday, another communion Sunday, to eat and to drink. So as you have said in your as often as you do it, be sure you that if you come. So we are being reminded this morning of that great fellowship. Even in your message, we are being reminded today that we have a stay focus. So we ask that at this time that you bless the bread. You bless the wine in the name of the Father, of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. On the same night which he was betrayed, he took bread. And he began to speak. And as I said a while ago, he didn't understand what was happening. That Jesus, even though he took the menial job, he 
He said that he shall have no part in it. But Jesus said, if I don't wash you, you will not definitely have no part. We need God's praise for all this morning. We are privileged to be the body of the Lord. The body of the Lord. The body of the Lord Jesus. How often has it been? Body of our Lord, let us open prayers now so that we eat the children that let us eat the children that we know about. Let us pray. Testament and my brothers are so that you drink the remembrance of Christ.
God in peace, Christ's life of peace. Let us live for life in Him. Back in peace, Christ, death was peace. Let us die for death in Him. Back in peace, Christ, God's gift of the life beyond the grave. Where all mortal country sees, we remain. Every young man, every young woman, every woman of those things. In, in 
all in all, we pray that your blessing be with us in Jesus' name. Amen. Good afternoon, each and everyone. Um, we are grateful to God for, for Him. We are grateful to God for Him. Um, just like we thank all the waiters, we have we have some waiters from from everywhere. Right? We have a bit of a mixed bag. So they thank you for joining us in the night today as we waited. This is our in house audience I'm talking about, and of course, our online Zoom audience. Um, for our in house audience, if you're not aware, we do have a Zoom. Like that we have our uh, same services every Sunday. So even when you need to come here, please feel free to join us online. We are we more than love to have you back. Um, and for those who do watching on YouTube, while we're at it, later on, God bless you. We pray that God will be a blessing and that you will continue to just remain focused. Lots of distractions, but remain focused. Just remain focused. You know, you have to. Otherwise, you might lose it. Um, Yeah, just getting an update on my husband. So this Saturday we have our mission meeting. It is our, it is our seminar number two. I got this in my head. Right? So mission meeting this Saturday coming at 9.30 a.m. We have our mission meeting. New papers are available if you can. Um, these are some of our other announcements to keep in mind. Thank you, sir. Um, so on the 9th, which is Sunday coming, we have the Independent Baptist Special Churches, our reunion, um, our annual reunion of songs, it will be held at the Creative Arts Center at 97 C. Sophia Road, Monday 4, San Fernando, and it starts at 2 p.m. A reminder of the theme, we are together again, and a reminder of the cost for adults, um, tickets are $100, and for children, five to 12, just $50. Um, we are not required to do uh, performance, however, we are required to contribute in items for sale, so please keep that in mind if you would like to contribute. Not if you would like. You did that already? Okay, thanks, whatever. Um, so, I was also this next week, God willing. And then on the 30th to the end of the month, we have St. George's in Kenya Baptist Church. Their gift service will be held at the church's compound starting at 2 30 p.m. And last year, as well as I have, um, on the 28th of July, 2024, Rabbi Rose Independent Youth Group, their annual sub service will be held at the church's compound and it starts at 2 p.m. And we also have our church's health fair, yeah. missions health fair. Um, so we have the missions health fair, it will be on the 20th of July, which will, which will be technically a week before. Um, and it will be at the Maruga Sporting Facility. Right? That's on the Maruga Road there. Um, there will be a marathon. I believe there was a map. Um, we haven't seen it as yet, but it's right in the corner there. If you are interested in joining the marathon or walking or running or whatever, for a regular to complete, um, please go and see the map so that you will not be lost. Um, and then, of course, the events. Let's try to support our mission in this. Um, Okay, all right. All right, so John number three is having this stewardship stewardship service. <laughs> On June to which I think is the eighth Sunday, that's what I'm trying to do. Fourth Sunday, that's actually fourth Sunday, there are five Sundays in this month. Oh. Right? So, um, in John number three, they have a distribution service on the fourth Sunday this month, which is June 23rd. Do we have a time for that? 2 30 p.m. Right? That the changes come out. So, we got one more table. So I'm getting updates because I haven't been here in a minute, so I'm getting updates as I go along. 
21st of July, which is the day after our health day, on June is having their gift service at the church's compound. I think it's at 2 30 p.m. Safe to say, yes, 2 30 p.m. All right, for so those that we didn't get very regularly, I will update and we will get it as we go on later. Next week, please go for a As of right now, it's next week. Please go and we'll get an update on the announcements. Um, other than that, when say God willing, we would like to have our Bible study session. Um, it is on Zoom again. It is at 6 p.m. Um, we want to start at 6 p.m. and finish at 7 15. I will not see. Continue to study Matthew chapter 5, but just be prepared for whatever else. It was. All right? So, other than that, um, God bless you all. Um, continue to keep us in prayer as in us in the same man, church and our whole as well in prayer that we will continue to seek God's guidance for all of us. Right? Um, yeah, so just, just continue to keep us all in prayer. And um, we turn safely, everyone, and have a blessed.